It's a sunny January day in Noland Park, Oakland, California. Over the hill, in the developed section of the park, visitors line up to pay to see the Oakland Zoo. Others are here, though, for a completely different reason. They like the undeveloped section of the park, and they want to keep it that way. Let's talk to a few of them. I'm here to support Nolan Park uh, because it's a beautiful park that I really love visiting and they have some great wildlife and environment there that I think should be protected. I'm here because this is uh, open space. It belongs to the city of Oakland. It does not belong to a foundation. I don't believe the zoo needs to expand and certainly not into a natural area that provides very uh, precious habitat for whip snakes and also uh, pallid manzanitas and it's a native bunch grass area. Why does the zoo care about endangered animals but not endangered plants? It's beautiful terrain, it's open space, a space that should stay open. They keep them from developing the ridge line, keep it wild up there. I'm completely opposed to public spaces being trampled over and made into privatized for-profit spaces. I've been going to both the zoo and Nolan Park since I was in a stroller and I yeah. appreciate the zoo and Nolan Parks where I gained any sort of ethic for appreciating the beauty of Oakland open space and the idea of taking out what's there to put displays about it is totally insane. They're also here to listen to speakers concerned with development. As you all know, the reason we're here is that the zoo has plans to fence off 56 acres of Nolan Park, which is occupied wildlife habitat with rare plant and threatened animal species, and wide open now to the public, free to all of us. They want to fence it off and build an exhibit to teach us all about how important conservation is. They would pave over and rip out rare plant communities in the home of a threatened species, to build over 50 structures, a destination restaurant, executive offices with bay views, and a center to interpret the effect that development has had on the wildlife of the Bay Area. <laughs> Young people of Oakland are not in need of more stimulating entertainment spectacles. We are in need of more unpaved spaces that don't spoon feed us interpretations of the way we should be experiencing the things around us. You recall a year ago, they went to us asking for a tax increase because they said that this aging zoo was in the animal facilities, the facilities for the animals were in desperate need of repair. Now millions are being funneled up into a 56 acre ridge top expansion. What's going on? There's a whole bunch of developers sitting on the zoo board that are just salivating, waiting to build on this. And they're selling it to us like it's some sort of cubic zirconia necklace when we've already got the diamond necklace. Yeah. And they want us to buy it too. Yeah. That's so outrageous. We do not want to see the heritage of our children bulldozed. Yeah. They deserve better. Oakland deserve better. And if each one of you will just get one or two people to step up we can stop this. We must stop this. Woo! 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 